Bonjour on all angles and welcome back to ENCA. Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates legend John Mwedi has passed away at the age of 55. The renowned defender, affectionately known as Dungi, was battling illness to which he succumbed early this morning. The Soweto-born footballer rose to prominence in the early 1990s playing for Dynamo FC with the likes of Marx Maponyane. He shot to greatest stardom in the colours of Pirates where he famously won the the 1995 CAF Champions League. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by former Orlando Pirates coach Augusto Palacios, who worked with Muerti in the late 90s. Good afternoon, Augusto. Uh, great to have you on the show today. Unfortunately, on the circumstances, what are your opening comments after the sad news of the passing of the legend John Muerti? Good afternoon, Ada and the viewer. You know, when I received the news today, Today in the morning from from the ANC, it was really very sad. I, 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 I was shocked until I asked my my family to to check because I wasn't work to check is true. And then my daughter in the group we had, she sent me the photo of John Moetti who was passed away. It was very sad. I still shocked for me, you know. So so great person, so great leader, leadership, and great player. You know, to play for Orlando Pirates too many years, to be the captain, to be Mafana Mafana too many games, and maybe some of the junior generation he didn't know him, but his personality in, in, in the field was fantastic. I remember when Pirates controlled the game through him, because he was a typical defense midfield. You know, um, I had very good relation with him, with him and his family. He know where to describe what was John White. You know, the person, and remember the, the high with Benedict de Villacase, you know, but so command in the midfield. And apart from that, the discipline, the leadership, the right early to the training, to talk to the player is, is, is fantastic. You know, we lost one of the persons who I believe he can do too many things to guide in too many young players and too many young coaches who want to follow this aspect of football. Oh, Augusto, I mean, you did mention that you've known the man really well. At the time you joined Orlando Pirates as director of football in 1996, John Muerti was one of the players in your stable. What else can you say was your first impression of the character of the legend himself? I think you say something very important, the character. You know the way I say before, was well, his height to be uh, small, but the, the, the tempo, the game, the control of the game, and his personality, he gives to you the person he hungry to success. You know, John is the person who sometimes was injured and the doctor say, let's him to read this game. But he say, no, let's to put injection. I want to play. And this is the typical player who sometimes you know fine in this moment. You know, injuries was very few in his time, but the way he conduct his life, the way he had, the, I say, the leadership, because it's not easy to find leadership in the team. And he had this element, God key to him, this element. Because when I arrived to Pyras in, in 1995, and, and I met him in, in several locations, he was the person who the chairman, Dr. Ivan Cosa, was tracking a lot. He's a player who talked to players when he had any problem. He's a player who leader. Uh, 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 I remember games when we uh, played super sport, you know, in Johannesburg Stadium, and we were losing 3-0. And we combated three, and we went to extra time. And Piso Musimani was the coach there. And, and he imposed, he imposed his, his character and command. You know, we lost the really, really leadership, you know, who, who Paira had very few leadership like him. You know, obvious to mention the other, like, obvious like Lehuati and the rest of the people. But Yomo Eti coming first, and it's a really loose for South African football. Wow, Augustus, before his passing, he was known for his work in football development. Was this one of his dreams and his goals to give back to the younger generations? Did you have conversations with him about that as well on a personal level? Yes, correct. We had this talk around before COVID when we spoke in, in, and he said to me he liked to be enrolled in, in development because he had his passion. But in, in automatic, after his call came in the COVID, and we now have the opportunity to talk again. And when we now normal free out of the COVID, we, we, we try to communicate and it's coming this news. 
very sad and very pain for me because I will, I will be happy to continue away with him because of his uh, commitment, his leadership, and especially, you know, uh, uh, some of the players you know, had this education, the way he talked to people, and we're going to miss him, and, and obvious uh, why the legacy he did in Pirates was one of the best legacies. Augusto Palacios, thank you very much for your time in paying tribute to uh, the late John Muerti. That was former Orlando Pirates coach speaking, of course, after the news of uh, the passing of Bafana Bafana and Orlando Pirates legend John Muerti, who passed away this morning.